The Pentagon confirmed to CBS 5 today military leaders once proposed building a so-called gay bomb, a chemical weapon that could be dropped on enemy troops to make them sexually irresistible to each other. Here's CBS 5 political editor Hank Plant. Hank? Well, Alan, it was an Air Force lab that proposed this to the Pentagon officials, and it was a Berkeley-based watchdog group that found out about this strange idea for a weapon. Edward Hammond of Berkeley's Sunshine Project tracks military spending. He used the Freedom of Information Act to obtain this proposal from the Air Force's Wright Laboratory to build what's been called a gay bomb. The weapons proposal says one distasteful but completely non-lethal example would be strong aphrodisiacs, especially if the chemical also caused homosexual behavior. The Ohio Air Force lab proposed that a bomb be developed that contained a chemical that would cause um, enemy soldiers to become gay and to, uh, well, to have their units uh, break down uh, because all of the soldiers became irresistibly attractive to one another. The Air Force lab asked for seven and a half million dollars to develop such a bomb. The notion was that a chemical that would probably normally be present in the human body in low quantities could be identified and by virtue of either breathing or having their skin exposed to this chemical, the notion was that uh, soldiers would become gay. The Pentagon confirms that such a proposal was made but rejected as part of the military search for non-lethal weapons. A spokesperson told us the Department of Defense is committed to identifying, researching, and developing non-lethal weapons that will support our men and women in uniform. But proposing a gay bomb is offensive to people like Hayward's Hong Win, who was dismissed from the Army under Don't Ask, Don't Tell. You know, the proposal saying that you know, the gay bomb would, uh, would encourage this distasteful uh, behavior, homophobic behavior, is just offensive on, on its face, period. And gay community leaders find the idea almost laughable. Throughout history, we have had so many brave men and women who are gay and lesbian serving the military with distinction. So it's just offensive that they think that by turning people gay, that that would somehow make the other militaries incapable of doing their job. And it's absurd because there's so much scientific and medical data that shows that sexual orientation is immutable and can't be changed. The Pentagon says the proposal was made by the Air Force in 1994 and dismissed. But that is not what the Berkeley Watchdog Group found. So when the Pentagon says it didn't really go anywhere, it was dismissed out of hand. That's not correct. The, the, the truth of the matter is, is that it would never have come to my attention if it had been dismissed at the time that it was proposed. In fact, the Pentagon has used it repeatedly subsequently in efforts to promote non-lethal weapons. And in fact, they submitted it to the highest uh, scientific review body in the country for them to consider. This gay bomb. That's correct. For the record, the military says it is not working on a gay bomb 